Hello guys, uh, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be cooking some beef short rib. Um, I recommend getting this from your butcher. I uh, don't even know if you'd be able to get it in a supermarket, but get it from your butcher, get some quality beef. The dog is jumping up already at this. Um, so it's obviously, it's, uh, it's a rib. Um, and this is a hard worker muscle, needs lots of cooking. It's going to take sort of at least six hours to cook this out. And if you can see all this lovely fat in here, this is all gonna melt away into the sauce. Uh, it's gonna help thicken the sauce, but it's also gonna make it dead tasty. Um, these will shrink quite a bit when we cook them, um, probably by about a third. So you'll be left with a big chunk of meat on a big bone, um, but it is really delicious. Uh, proper sort of the ultimate comfort food, really. It's really good. Um, and we're gonna cook these right now. They're gonna be on for a long time. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on. So we're gonna start off, nice heavy sort of casserole dish if you've got one. If not, um, you can use a baking tin, um, but just use a sort of a frying pan to seal these off, which is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna do it all in here. So turn this on. For a medium heat. Uh, so I've got four short ribs. One is normally plenty for one person, um, but this is dead tasty and I want to have lots of it. <laughs> We're going to season this. Just season again. Bit of oil into the pan. There we are. And then we're just going to put these in. I hope these fit in my pan. <laughs> I'm going to have to do them one at a time and seal them all off. Um, I'll show you one once it's done. We're just going to seal it on all sides. Uh, it's going to help keep all the flavour in. Wait for the pan to get hot, pop it in, seal it off until it's sort of nice golden brown on the outside. Okay, so as you can see, it's all sort of browned off nicely. You can see, it's all sealed in. Do that to everyone, and then we'll get on with the rest of it. Okay, so once all the beef's sealed off, just pop them on a plate, keep them separate out of the pan, then we're gonna chop up some vegetables and some bacon, and we're gonna put that in, and um, fry all that off, and then we're gonna add some water, tomatoes, the beef, and we'll get it in the oven. Okay, so we're just gonna slice some onions up. Okay, so next, I've got some chestnut mushrooms, I'm just going to cut these in half. So then we want to get the pan back on the heat, put all this in there and start cooking that out and then we're going to chop up some leeks and some bacon, get that in as well. So I've got about 200 grams of streaky bacon, I'm just going to roughly chop that and pop that in. Got some leek, gonna chop about half of this, or slice half of this, pop that in as well. So I've got my trusty lazy garlic. I'm just gonna pop a couple of teaspoons in to cook that out with the leeks and the bacon. Delicious. We want to leave this on for probably 15 minutes or so to cook out. Uh, there's quite sort of 
big in volume at the minute, uh, and we just need that all to shrink down before we can put the beef and the rest of the ingredients in. So once all the onions, the leeks, the bacon, the mushrooms all cooked down, we're going to add some tin tomatoes. So I've got one tin here, uh, we're going to put them in, and then probably two or three tins of water as well. Okay, so I'll put my tin of tomatoes in, probably about two and a half tins of water as well. So next up, I'm going to put some Worcester sauce in. Do well. And I've got one of these beef sort of stock melt pot things. Uh, I'm going to chuck that in as well. Bring that back up to the boil. Okay guys, so I'm thinking my uh, my ribs are not going to fit in my pan. So, I've got a big uh, cooking tin here. I'm going to put the ribs in. And I'm going to pour the sauce carefully over the top so it's very hot. Uh, some tin foil over the top of that. And then we'll pop that in the oven. Okay guys, so I've got everything in my tin. I can't tip it, I'll show you because it's very full. Uh, but you can see how, how full it is. Uh, it's all in there. And I'm gonna cover with tin foil, pop it in the oven. I've got my oven on about 150. Um, and like I say, this is gonna be in there for probably about six, at least six hours, maybe seven if I can, but I do have to go out. Um, yes, yeah, so. It's going to be in there a long time. If you want to the, turn the temperature lower, um, sort of go 130, 140, you can do that. Um, and they'll just take longer to cook. It will take probably eight or nine hours. Um, to be honest, uh, longer, the slower, the better. Um, but they're going to be dead tasty like this anyway. So I'm going to cover it with foil in the oven. Let's get this done. All those juices running out of there. It's dead tasty. Uh, I hope you enjoy this, guys. Enjoy your short ribs guys, um, and yeah, remember you can find more videos on the Dolphin YouTube channel, uh, you can subscribe there, uh, like this video, share it with all your friends, that would be fantastic, thank you, and yeah, come back soon, we'll have some more tasty goodness.